Hey guys, it's Jemima. Welcome to my channel. I'm gonna show you guys my experience of my first cosmetic procedure, and that is lip fillers. Could not sleep last night because I'm just so worried about getting botched. I only have four hours of sleep, and I'm really dead right now. I got me and Janet, my friend, who's coming here to go with me to get my lips done. Some Starbucks order, and she's on the way to go pick it up. And then we're on our way to Charlotte. A white chocolate mocha with vanilla sweet cream cold foam and caramel drizzle. Jade of sugar. Cold brew tastes so much better though than a regular iced coffee. I want to get the Nespresso. You need a Nespresso in your life. Like shit saves lives. I'm so serious. Like every morning I wake up and I'm like so excited to use my Nespresso machine. This morning I woke up a little aggravated. Um, my mom was getting a new bedding and the delivery guys came in and my dog would not stop barking. It gave me a headache. My brother was like, I need to go get food. Can you wash the baby? They took forever and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna be late. I don't feel so bad if we make it late to her appointment. I'm still gonna make it though. Visit to the track, bitch. So disclaimer, we do not take hate on this channel. So if you don't like my lip color, it's too bad. Too bad, because we're doing it anyway. I told my mom, I was like, what if I come back with lip filler? She Wait, was like, you tell your mom that I'm getting it? Yeah. <laughs> she was like, why? Why are you guys already doing that at such a young age? And I'm yeah, like, yeah, that's the point. Because I want to. The botch. Yeah. That's her image of getting like any kind of filler. You're insecure about something. You have the, the money or the courage to change it. Like, why not go ahead and do it? If you end up not doing it, you're going to regret it at some point because you're like, wow, I wish I would have done this and see, like, you know what happens. Yeah. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Ooh, if I could, I'll do my nose, I'll do my lips, I'll do my chi chis. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> my boobs. Ooh. So we're here and now we're gonna go in her appointment. I will be the videographer. I'm gonna show you guys hopefully this what is goes down. My lips. Before. And you're gonna see the after. are gonna get more dry with this in the beginning while you're healing so make sure you're staying well hydrated and using like aquaphor or vaseline oh my God, it looks so good. you're a little swollen so it's gonna come down a little bit okay so after six weeks once all your, you're completely healed you can decide if you want Wow. Sorry about my anxiety. You're okay. Don't worry about it. Got Juvederm Ultra Plus. Juvederm Ultra Plus. <laughs> I can't <laughs> talk. I can't feel my lips. He looks. <laughs> he looks. He looks like just went to the dentist. Like yours got numb. Yeah, it did get numb. Does it look any different? Yeah. 
Yeah, you got the buzzer from the top and bottom. Mm -hmm. I can tell. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I almost passed out like twice because I'm not really good with needles. And whenever I get my blood drawn, I almost get lightheaded and dizzy. I think so. I think that's good. No lipstick or lip liner. I think I'm good with this size. I don't think I'm going to go like bigger. Yeah, I think this good. is fine. A level for me was a 10, I would say 7. The mirror that everybody was talking about, the whole bit. Oh yes, oh it's huge. This is the one I was going to get, but I didn't think it was going to be this big. It's 11pm and I'm just putting ice pack on my lips to prevent bruising and swelling and itching. I haven't put anything on my lips yet and I just like how my lips look a lot like pink. I never really had that kind of color without um, makeup on my lips. Hi guys, it's the second day and you guys could see some bruising especially right here and a little bit of the top part. And I'm so sorry about my pimple. I've been getting pimple on this left side of my face and I don't know why. I've already applied some ice pack on my lips. Surprisingly, I didn't have to take Tylenol for pain. The only time it hurts is when I try to lick my lips like all over because I have food on my lips, but I just get like a tissue. I just gently take off my stuff on my lips. I am not used to eating with lip fillers yet. Not as hard like I thought it would be. Hi guys, it's officially one week later after I got my lip fillers and they look amazing. Can't even barely notice it because it has gone down. It used to be really swollen. I know I have lipstick on, but I'm gonna take it off. I'm going to answer some of my questions from my Instagram. I also got some questions through my DMs and I'm gonna try to fit that in this video. So the first question is from Rania and she asked how long does it last and did it hurt? It lasts about six months. Did it hurt? Yes, it was painful because I have low pain tolerance but if you had tattooed before and you're good with that then you're probably gonna be like it doesn't even hurt. But I just get really scared of needles injecting into me and I could actually feel the needles around my like the edges of my lips but if it's like injected around like in the inner portion of my lips I can't feel it. Follow all the steps on her Instagram page. It says that you can't take any blood thinning Advils and stuff like that before like two weeks prior of your appointment. Yeah, it did not hurt afterwards. Like I feel fine except when I try to eat. Of course, I have small mouth so like it was harder for me to open my mouth. My lips were swollen for up to one week and honestly, I want this lips to stay like the size of it. It looks natural but i noticed the size has gone down and i kind of want some more lip fillers in the future for the first few days i would put on ice pack for five minutes and then do it on and off for 20 minutes so it can prevent bruising i only had one bad bruising and it was like over here but it's gone now and then i had a one lump right here and i still have a tiny left and i'm really hoping it would go down in a few weeks so it would be three to four weeks for lumps and and bruises to go down. I didn't have to use Tylenol for pain. I was able to like sleep through it. Honestly, I did not feel any pain that night. So the second question is from Fatima and she asked, why did you decide to get it? You're beautiful either way. Thank you so much. You're so gorgeous and so sweet. And I decided to get it because I just wanted to see what it would look like with big lips. I saw Kylie Jenner before and after picture and she looks so bomb with the lip fillers. It does really change her face feature even with just lip fillers and without all the Botox. Also, the main thing why I got lip fillers because I want to do more makeup looks. I feel like I can't do certain makeup looks because I don't have the lips for it. I think fuller lips would look so good on certain looks that I would go for. I wasn't insecure about my old lips because I literally have this kind of lips if I over line my lips with like 
matte lip liner. Tiffany asked, would you do it again, you think, with double question marks? Um, yes, I would. I said it earlier that I would do it again because my lips would dissolve in six months and I'm obsessed with my lip filler. I think I look great with them. What do you guys think? I would like to know your opinion about my lip fillers. I'm just really curious. Okay, so I got so many DMs of people asking how much it is. So my lip filler is $650 and I tip like 15% of that because she did so good and I don't look like a duck. I was so scared about that part. I just love my lip fillers and I would recommend you guys go to her because she knows what she's doing she would follow up check up on you like a few days after you got your lip fillers to make sure that you are not experiencing any like painful bruises okay i think that is all for the questions and if i'm missing anything in this video and i didn't answer your question comment down below and i will try to comment back as soon as possible i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i hope it's very helpful i know it gets really nerve-wracking and scary to get something done on your face especially because everyone is always looking at your face very important to research on the lip injectors or botox if you are thinking about getting lip fillers let me know because i want to hype you up and guys i will always be transparent if i get anything done with my body i'll let you guys know if you follow my instagram you probably will know because i will take like instagram story of the place i go to so follow me on instagram at Jemima Lynn. I do use TikTok a lot, so follow me there too. It's at Jemima Lynn for everything. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you aren't subscribed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper.